Hey folks, it's Russ with Rental with Russ, and we're here at my shop, Hilljack Trucking and Repair. And today we're going to show you how to change an alternator on a 2016 Caterpillar. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to locate the alternator, and you want to check it with a voltmeter. And you need to have your voltmeter read between about 13.6 to 14.3 is optimal. Anything below that is going to be the alternator issue. As you can see, ours is reading 11.98, which is way below standard. Okay, the next thing you do is now that you realize that your alternator is bad, is you want to get everything out of your way, and you want to disconnect the batteries, because you do not want your batteries connected when you do this. All right, next thing you want to do is you want to locate your fan belt. It has a serpentine belt on this one, and you want to locate your the alternator belt. And just loosen your tension pulley up and take the belt off. The next thing you're going to do is locate the four bolts and the one on the bottom. There's a total of five that hold this on there. There's four bolts on top, one on the bottom for your tension. You're going to locate those. It's a 5 8 socket. We had to use an extension on this one, as you can see. If you've got the Caterpillar 660, you'll have to use an extension. There's a lot of stuff in the way here. But once you locate those four bolts, they're fairly long, you want to take those bolts out. And then once you got the bolts out, you're going to remove the alternator from the front. As you can see, it comes right out. Just make sure you don't damage your air-to-air -air or your radiator. And then just kind of gingerly pull it out. And there's the alternator. And then we're just going to reverse ourselves, putting the new one back on. You take it back through the same path, you line up the holes, and, put, and start your four bolts back in. And once you get the four bolts back in this, make sure you put your bottom bolt back in. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our Electrical connections on the back of it back on. Obviously, you're going to put positive, positive, negative, and negative. Okay, now we've got our electrical connections back on it. Now we're going to put our alternator belt back on. And again, it's just reversing yourself. Make sure that you have this belt lined up with those grooves. If you don't have the grooves lined up with the belt, it will destroy that belt in a matter of no time at all. It will eat the belt off of it. Okay, now once you got it back on there, now you're just going to check it again with a voltmeter. So start your truck up once you have all your connections back on. And as you can see, we're reading 13.65. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, and as always, why pay someone else thousands of dollars when you can do it yourself?